Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see why CP is greater than CV always. CP is specific heat at constant pressure. CV is specific heat at constant volume. If you don't know what is specific heat, please watch my previous lecture which is about specific heat. What is specific heat? What are the types of specific heat? What, the, what does it signify and so on. So uh, link is given in description below. Also you can uh, write, click on the right section of screen. So let's begin here. So specific heat at constant pressure is always greater than specific heat at constant volume. For example, if we talk about specific heats of air, air is a gas, you know, so specific heat of heats of air, specific heat of air at constant pressure is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin, while specific heat of cons specific heat of air at constant volume is 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Here you can see CP is greater than CV. So why it is so? All must be knowing that CP minus CV is equal to R and R is a positive quantity. R is a positive quantity. So if R has to be positive then CP has to be greater than CV. But this is a mathematical definition. So how to find it physically? How do we say that, okay, this is the reason because of which CP is always greater than CV. This is exactly the topic we are going to discuss in this lecture. Okay. You can see here, I have drawn two diagram. One is for constant volume process. Another is for constant pressure process. In constant volume process, volume of the system remains constant means this is a rigid piston it cannot move up and down and gas which is filled in this area will only remain in this area if we supply heat to it so we know if we supply heat to a gas its internal energy will increase but if in the case of constant pressure process where pressure is constant but volume is changing so initial state was this and final state is this. If we supply heat to gas, now volume of the gas changes. So here two, uh, we can say processes occurs in this system. One is increase in the internal energy of gas. Another is external work on the system. So here heat supplied has to do two works. First is increase in the internal energy and second is in, uh, to do external work on the system. So we can say here heat is only involved in internal energy change of the system. Here heat is involved in internal energy change as well as the external work of the system. So apart from increasing internal energy, heat has to be given in some extra amount to do some external work. So since we know change in internal energy is directly proportional to change in temperature as the expression is given as delta u is equal to m dot cv dot delta t m is constant cv is constant so change in internal energy is directly related with change in temperature so here we can say Heat supplied will only increase the temperature, but heat supplied has to increase the temperature also do the external work. So for increasing one degree Celsius, we can say heat required in constant pressure process is more compared to heat required in constant volume process. I repeat it once again. In constant volume process, heat required is only to increase the temperature. But in constant pressure, when temperature increases, also work is required to be done on the system. So for increasing single unit degree celsius single degree celsius of temperature we need more heat in constant pressure process and hence we can say cp is always greater than cv thank you this brings me to the end of this lecture thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button